What's up, everybody? Prepare to behold Burger King Japan's new black burgers. Apparently, the engineers down at the Burger Lab figured out how to get bamboo charcoal, squid ink, grilled eggplant, and hash browns into two buck wild burgers. Man, oh man, I'm feeling frisky just looking at these things. So buckle up, because you're about to experience a burger bonanza the likes of which are rarely seen. So I was strolling and trolling around downtown Tokyo, came across a Burger King and decided to take a closer look. I took one glance at that buck wild black burger poster and realized I wasn't in Kansas no more. I mean, back when I was a boy, burgers were white, but these days they're coming in all kinds of colors, all different kinds. It's kind of uplifting, you know? I mean, it just goes to show you, if you're a black burger and you work hard, pay your dues. If you climb the fast food ladder, you too could make the big time. Anyway, I picked up one of each of those burgers. I got the Kuro Taisho and the Kuro Shogun. So apparently a Taisho is a military general and a Shogun is a fucking badass warlord from ancient times. Seems like a nice way to name burgers if you ask me. Anyway, I figured I'd try out that Shogun burger first, so I started unwrapping that bad boy with one hand like a seasoned pro. And check out that black burger, check out that black bun. What we got here is a bun infused with bamboo charcoal. Now, bamboo charcoal ain't exactly at the top of my list of snacks, but it does make this bun look pretty unique. And whoa, 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 look at the inside of this burger, the thing's glistening up a storm. Here we got a beef patty topped with some bamboo charcoal infused cheese. And what else we got here? We got some eggplant grilled to perfection. And I think that purple color is making this whole thing look real aesthetically pleasing right about now. The thing almost looks like a modern art masterpiece. I almost don't even want to bite it. But hey, I bought it. So now I got to eat it, baby. So I furiously grabbed that burger trying to get a one hand grip going down. Then I took one last look at that burger like I was looking at the origin of creation itself. Then I slammed that puppy down the hatch. I frantically clenched my teeth down until the top jaw of my mouth met the bottom jaw and the enamel of my teeth damn near exploded on contact. Then I bit off a chunk of that burger and started chewing on that puppy ferociously. Safe to say, some kind of primal urge must have taken over my body because I felt more like an animal than a man. Incredible flavors started to saturate my mouth and infused my body with the thrill of the wild. I had some Burger King Black Squid Ink burgers last year, but this burger, it's got more of a subtle taste going down. I mean, supposedly this burger also has squid ink in it, but I think they toned it down because I can barely taste it. What I taste here is some subtle sweetness and some savory, life-changing grilled eggplant action. We also got some dried garlic bits on the top of this burger and I taste it just a tad. This right here is a nice fucking burger. I mean, normally I'm into overpoweringly flavorful burgers, but this one, I kind of appreciate the subtlety and I'm loving the fact that I can taste that buck wild meat and that sick ass grilled eggplant. So I polished off that burger and now I'm folding up that wrapper being all neat and cleanly like. I gotta try to maintain a facade of normalcy over here. Gotta keep up my outwardly calm appearance. So now it's time to tear into this Taisho burger. I kinda like how these names harken back to samurai times. Hell, biting down on these black burgers makes me feel one with the Bushido. Anyway, let's take a look at this Taisho burger and wow, just wow. What we got here is a burger similar to the last one, but in this case, we got a huge ass hash brown inside. We also got what's called a black hashed sauce. Apparently it was on the last burger as well. This sauce is supposedly made from red wine and squid ink. Although, as I said earlier, I think they went pretty light on that squid ink. And as with the last burger, we got some dried bits of garlic on this bad boy. I gotta say, that burger's looking pretty nice. Looking real nice. Now, right about now with this burger, I'm stuck with that classic conundrum. Which side to bite first? I mean, on the one side, we got a huge-ass piece of hash brown protruding out the bun. But on the other, 
We got some cheese and meat protruding there. Well, I'm feeling the need for some potatoes, so I decided to chomp down on this side first. And holy shit, the second I bit into that burger, it felt like a liquefied capsule of fat just exploded inside my mouth. I guess the meat patty in this burger is a lot thinner than the other burger I just had. What we got here is 10% meat to 90% hash brown. Now, I'm not exactly sure why, but somehow, some way, that hash brown acted like a grease sponge of sorts, and when I bit into that thing, fucking grease just went sloshing all over my mouth. I mean, the overall taste of this burger is somewhat similar to the previous burger, but in this case, we got less meat, we got no grilled eggplant, and instead, we got one of the most intense grease sponges ever conceived by mankind. I guess what I'm trying to say in a roundabout way is that right there is not my favorite burger of all time. Not even my second favorite. Let's just say this burger ain't exactly recommended. Anyway, if you want to see some more Japanese burgers, then feel free to check out my next video. I got the link in the description box. In this next video, I cruised on back to Freshness Burger and tried their Spam Burger along with their Pineapple Barbecue Burger. So as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.